Little one going back to Tangara, first fish for the trip. Nice. It's a nice fish. Bad. There we go. Nice little fatty. Healthy ears. Never. Beautiful orange one. Don't complain about the fishing. It'd be nice to get this one in before I uh, hit the rocks. Whoa, 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 how big is splashing going there? I'm cutting it into a whole lot of bits of paper. Don't cut the head off. Oh, oh. You're making me feel sick, anything I know. Oh, wouldn't I oh. cut it there? Oh, you just be careful when you cut it, eh? It's getting bigger at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't help yourself. Morning, guys. Day two of the Bounty Hunter Mothership trip. Yesterday everyone caught plenty of fish. I think the biggest one was some um, 78 centimetres. So um, today we get a whole day's fishing. The wind's probably going to reduce the area we're fishing a little bit, but um, hopefully that doesn't affect the results too much. Pretty stunning. This is the southern end of Great Barrier Island. You can see Cape Barrier ahead of me. Wow, look at that. Is that a dolphin locker? Yeah, mate, you good. Right, we're on. First fish of the morning. Not really fighting, eh? What have we got? A tiny snapper. Yeah, boy. This is what we come to Great Barrier for. Big ass snapper. Here we go. First one back to Tangara. Big fish. Look at that, eh? Oh, that's a good size. I'll let it go. Pretty little thing. Slippery little sucker. There you go.
beautiful fit. What service? Go, two litres of water. Morning, guys. It's our final day of our three day trip with the Broken Islands on the western side of Great Barrier Island. Yesterday was, um, I wouldn't say the fishing was bad. The fishing was pretty good. I think I caught about, well, it would have been close to 30 fish yesterday. But they were mainly smaller and that was pretty much general for everyone. Right and close, first cast. Oh, it's a nicey. First fish of the morning. Definitely go back to Tungara. Great fight, buddy. Nice fish. There we go. Yeah, boy. Awesome. Toe. Yeah, mate. That's why I don't fish cameras and comps. I just turn the, I turn the camera on after I've caught the fish. Go, Luke. Hang on, buddy. Luke's getting an epic toe here. Fishing you exactly where the rock is. Good skills, reversing away. He's not that big, he's just a scrappy bugger. Was that the one you said was on the other side of the rock, Luke? No. Yeah. Probably another one. They're definitely in here. Nice. Where's, get, where's getting pulled into the rocks? Red bone. It's a nice fat fish, mate. Oh, get 
getting a really good tow down the coastline here. Tow down the coastline here. advice for you Menaki kaha respect the strength of the fish if you watched um, the Eastern Bay of Plenty one where I got the 30 pound fish I played that fish perfectly and during the first part of the run its first run I didn't turn the cameras on at all last weekend I blew it by trying to get all the cameras on on that first run and not getting through that first part because the first run from these big fish can be huge you'll get towed at speed and they're always going to go for the bolt hole and in that case that fish took me into about one and a half meters where he um, spat the hook. Hope you learn from that. I definitely have and it's one thing that I make a point off that when I'm fishing in fishing comps I never turn the cameras on until I've um, actually landed the fish. That's what I've got to say to you guys. Manaki kaha. Respect the power of the fish. Well that's all for this vid guys. If I don't um catch you on the water i'll see you in the next vid feel free to um, leave comments give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and if you haven't subbed to the channel it'd be good if you did that it'd be awesome cheers guys